I like for people to be encompassed in it, to walk up and feel like they really are in that environment, in that piece. So my stuff is not intimate and little, it's kind of big and bold. Beautiful. You know what it is. Well, we support each other. It feels good. I mean, that's what I do. It helps create the culture of this city where, you know, and there's a lot of it. My name is Kirsten Ani. I'm an artist, a textile artist, um, and I live in Duluth, Minnesota. I noticed that you're used to the body. Well, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of grant writing. It takes connections of knowing people here and there. Um, support. I have really great family support. My sister's amazing. She really supports me. It just reminds me the simplicity and the geometry of Finland and the modern shape shapes it makes. Okay, this will probably come off a little bit. Pretty. Nature is pretty symmetrical. There's patterns in a way. Leaves, mirrored images. I'm doing that show at the Nordic Center, and it's our um, inspirations from our trip to Finland. Mm -hmm. So I have to do a piece also with big flowers because of Mari Meko. And I've done other flower pieces in the past. Even though most of my work is geometric, um, it's fun to do some flowers. OK, here we go again. I wanted kind of violets and greens and black. And I always love orange. It's fun. Hey, here we go. You know, people love patterns. I love patterns. So I'll put some more black in here. Maybe, yeah, I think I'm going to do a big black here. <laughs> I was going to do one of just circles inside circles with triangles and just have a whole black and white. And I'm still intending to do that. But right when I have, I start working, before I know it, I'm throwing in other colors and patterns that I wasn't even meaning to do. <laughs> I used to call it kind of a visual Tourette's. I like for everything to kind of relate. So when you're looking at it, it's like, oh, it kind of visually repeats and makes, you know, visual sense. I want to get back into lampshades and pillows and things for the house, furnishings, and um, clothes. Yeah, it's fun. This one is actually, the black is screen printed. This is Red Wing Blackbird. And the wings and the eyes and the um, beak, I all hand stenciled. So I'd have to make a bunch of stencils. I do this wing, this wing, this wing, this wing on my big table over there, then come back with the other wing. It took a while, but because I don't have a system for really lining up colors yet with the repeats. And um, these are more. They all These go with the wall hangings, some quilts that I made. So they were hung up, so there's kind of a visual dance going on with people wearing the clothes and the quilt and kind of make an environment. And then my fish. Well, it's definitely uh, a Scandinavian feeling, you know, which is something that we're really interested in. Clean lines, really clean everything, but with pops of color or design. People love it, yeah. People are always coming up and then they're like, you did it? I think the atmosphere and, and the decor of the restaurant really plays into service and our interactions with our customers because it gives you so many talking points when people come in right off the bat. They want to know about you know, this piece or that piece. Um, we think it contributed to a really unique space and a really beautiful one and one that has really strong connections to our community. It makes a strong city, a strong country, strong people to have that connection to art.